Welcome to this video on using the match function in Microsoft Excel. So this is a really useful function if you want to try and find the position of something in a table or a set of data. And it just like any other function, it's got its own simple name, which is match. And if you look down to the bottom in the middle of the spreadsheet I've got open, I have a lookup. I'm going to look up Eva Miller and I've got a box there for the result. Now, just like any other video on my channel, I'm going to type in the function and build it up as we're going along so I can explain it and I can show you exactly what I'm doing. But do remember you have the formula tab at the top where you can select the functions and also you can use the function bar as well if you'd prefer. But I like to type it directly into the cell so that I understand a little bit more about what I'm building and it just helps build my knowledge. So whenever you're adding a function, remember your first point is always an equal sign. So I'm going to put in an equal sign and then I'm going to start to type in the easily remembered name, which is match. As I start to type it in, that list reduces and I can select my match option. So the first thing I'm going to do, because there's a few things I'm going to enter into here. The first thing I am going to do is tell the system what I'm going to be looking for. So I want to look for Eva Miller. So I'm going to select the box with the lookup item in there. So that's got that blue line moving around it now. Remember when you're separating out each part of your function, your formula, you're going to put a comma in there. So I'm going to put a comma. And then next is my lookup array. So this is where I'm going to find Eva Miller. So Eva Miller is in column C. So I want to be selecting that information to tell the system where I want to look for Eva Miller. So if I go down and select, you can see it's in red, I'm selecting column C. So I've told the system I want it to look for Eva Miller. I've now told the system where I want it to look. I'm going to put a comma in because there's a final option. And it's a match type. Now, when I select that, it's kind of hidden at the bottom a little bit. It does disappear. But I've got three options here. I can either put in a 1, a 0, or a minus 1. I've got a 1 is a less than option. 0 is an exact match. And minus 1 is a greater than. So some of these would only be useful if you're looking at numbered values. I just want an exact match. So I'm going to put a 0 in because I'm looking for Eva Miller. There's no right or wrong. There's no... There's no grey area there. It's either even Miller or it's not. So I'm going to put a zero in. But the other options are super useful if you've got figures that you're trying to look up and you want to get, you may be putting 500 and the closest to 500 is 510. It's going to give you the position of 510 if you put a minus one, which is greater than. If you put a one, which is less than, it's going to find something under 500. So stuff to play around with there. I'm going to put a zero in and I'm going to close those brackets. So you're always going to remember to close those brackets. So I've told the system what I want it to look for. I've told the system where I want it to look. And then I've told the system what type of match I want. Now, because it's words, I want an exact match, which is zero. And I'm going to press enter. And it's given me the number four. So now because I've got a really simple data table, I can just have a look down at the fourth name on the selection and that is Eva Miller. So I know exactly what position Eva is in on my data table, which makes it really easy. Now, if you've watched some of the other videos on the channel, you'll see index is an option that I have created a video on. And in a, in a short while, I'm going to create a video grouping index and match together because they're really useful to find the position and then pull out data. Because I might just not want Eva's date, Eva's name. I might want some information about her order or something. So please do look out for future videos where I'm going to start to group this with other functions. But we're going to start really simple and easy and get you comfortable with those functions that are available on Excel and just make your life a little bit easier. So please do have a go at that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.